Every year, events are organized at Solferino, the site of the battle in 1859 that inspired Henri Dunant to launch the Red Cross movement. This year, the Red Cross dedicated the event to the 20th anniversary of ECHO, the European Commission's Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection Department. We actually have a, a general uh, framework where everybody can come in and offer their help and then we give them money if it fits with the priorities. So it's not only the Italian Red Cross, it's the French Red Cross, it's the Spanish, and it's a truly European operation. Klaus Sorensen, ECHO's Director General, spoke to volunteers at a workshop in Solferino about the humanitarian principles. Because the principles of independence, neutrality, humanity, came from here. That was the first time when difference was not made between soldiers from Piemonte or from the Austrians or from whoever. He also went to Emilia Romagna to see camps for people displaced by the recent earthquakes. The Comune, yeah, the town which decides and gives them the right to come here and live. Red Cross volunteers help with food and shelter for people whose homes are either too dangerous or are still waiting to be surveyed for structural damage. The annual Fia Colata, a torchlight procession from Solferino to Castiglione. I work, I work with my people and volunteers like you in Mogadishu, in South Sudan, in Mali, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Syria. People from the Red Cross, from your organization, are all over the place. Grazie, grazie, grazie. Almost 3,000 people from across the world took part. Torches of hope for people suffering in crises. Roma,